Hi there. In the last video, we saw how to use Google's search power along with some common sense to get hold of the codes which might lead to certain automation of tasks. Well, in this, I'm going to ask you to add the power of some common sense of code editing and recording of macro so that the entire Google search result which was giving you a certain code can be customized to your task. For example, in the last video we saw we went to the Google and searched for a code which is respect to adding hyperlinked sheet names and we got hold of a code which looked like this, sub create links. Well, when I run this code, the problem is it runs from the active cell, right? What I want to do is whenever I run this code, it should start from the cell A2, correct? And maybe, maybe if need be, we also need to add a button which when clicked upon does the same task. So let me do one thing. Let me delete this. And then perhaps write a code which will make sure every time A2 cell is selected and then the macro code is run. Now you might tell me, look, I don't know how to code so far. So how do I then use a basic common sense to add that one line or two lines of codes which make sure A2 is selected? Well, you don't need to at this point in time. Let's see. I go to developer, then I go to record macro and then I say test uh, one. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm simply selecting cell A2. That is my action and immediately I stop recording. So between start and stop recording, what is the action that has been taken? Well, it is just the selection of one cell. Now, why is this important? Why? We'll see. When I go to macros, to see whether test one has been recorded correctly, I find that name and I'm going to edit that. Notice in the sub test one till the end, I see some comments, which is harmless if I delete them. But what I see is one line item which says range a two dot select. Now we'll be getting into the code very, very soon in details, right from the very level of object level coding, what are the properties attributes. But at this moment, you can really relate the cause and effect, the cause of this code was you had selected the cell. The effect, as you can see, is range A2 does select. Now, using a basic, basic common sense, what I might want to do is combine this code line with the previous big macro that allows me to create hyperlink sheets. Well, I'm going to copy this, simple copy. Now, do I paste it above the head? No. Do I paste below the tail? No. I will be pasting within the code. Now, Without knowing much in detail, how do I know which place or location do I paste the code in? Well, we start looking for ideas. We'll start looking for hints. The hints of this code tell me that there's some kind of a code which tell me for each worksheet do this about hyperlinked worksheets. Well, that's my action. Why not before the action, please add some spaces and then paste that code, right? Do I need the remaining set of codes of macros or procedures? No. I'm going to delete that. Now what I have is the name of the macro, same old macro, create links to all the sheets. And within that one action, which is saying A2, please go ahead and select it. Okay. Let me test this macro. What I might do is, uh, although I'll be getting into the correct way of testing the code little later, when we start writing the code at this moment, I'm going to close this window of visual basic editor and let me go to macros and run this macro. Notice it selects A2. Even if, even if I am, my cursor is on the cell E2 and go to macros and I run the macros, it runs from A2 onwards. Finally, just to add a little bit of garnish to my recipe, I'm going to go to insert form control button, something that we have seen earlier, create one simple button and relate the button to a macro. Sometimes people miss relating this macro. So you must choose that categorically. Okay. And perhaps if need be, you might give a simple, simple heading, which might tell you update EOC table of contents and click outside. Let's say if I'm just changing the in name of a, a sheet to SA, the initial, and let me go to the button update. Notice third one changing to SA, which if I click upon will take me to the sheet called SA. So that was about using Google's power, a little bit of common sense and recording of macros to modify the code to your taste. We'll see more of this as we progress. I hope you enjoyed our YouTube videos and I really, really appreciate that if you could subscribe to our videos, which will also encourage me to give more such videos in the times to come. And you can also watch some of our popular programs, which have been liked by a lot of viewers. 
see you soon